pretty special knowing that you know, you're one of the best Canadians at what you do and getting a chance to play for your country. And it's always great. You get to meet different guys from around the league and some guys that you hated and you learned that you like and get along with real well. And other guys, you know, that you just kind of get to know a little bit more. And as you start playing more and more on Team Canada, as you start seeing the same faces all the time. So playing for Team Canada is, you know, always a great experience. And they treat the families so well. They just make it all, all around enjoyable. Well, winning the conference finals, uh, going to the Stanley Cup finals is probably the best memory I had, it, and probably the worst because we lost in the finals. But uh, you know, knowing you're going to have a chance to play for the cup and the success we had that year as a team, probably one of the most memorable things. You know, we scored, Elfie scored in overtime to get us to the finals, and it was a pretty good feeling. There's definitely a shift, and it's something that I think uh, I welcome, and you have to welcome, as you know, you, you realize now that you're being watched a lot more by by your teammates and what you're doing and how you're acting and you know we've had kind of a change over a year the last year or so becoming you know, one of the most veteran guys on our team so it's a responsibility you kind of can't take lightly and I'm looking forward to the challenge of the season ahead. My, you know, my dad and brother are you know, probably the two guys I lean on the most. My dad's uh, coached me since I was a kid and we have a great relationship and uh, it's always nice to spend some quality time with him. You know, along the way I've played with some you know, great veteran guys, Wade Redden, Daniel Alfredson, and guys that you, know, you just kind of learn from as you're a younger guy in the league. I always looked up to Steve Eiserman and the way he handled his career and a guy like Mary Lemieux and you know, getting a chance to meet those guys and to you know, get to play against them and stuff, it's a pretty big thrill. It's a great aspect to, to help out uh, you know, younger kids. When you're you know, 12, 13, 14, you're a pretty impressionable age. And if you can be a role model and give some advice to, to kids that age now, I think it can be a great help to, you know, to help out their future. So as a kid, I was always looking for people to look up to and athletes to, to kind of learn stuff from. And, and now they have a chance to give back. It's something that I welcome.